Hey, this is Disney Cars Toy Club, and today we have a very special SpongeBob video for you that I'm actually really excited about. We're going to be opening up the Imaginex Fisher Price Flying Dutchman Pirate Ship. I had been looking for that toy for a while, and I finally found it. We also have the SpongeBob SquarePants Minifigure World Blind Box Series 1 packs to open up. I have not seen those anywhere else, so I'm really excited to open those up. We also have the SpongeBob SquarePants Play-Doh Surprise Egg to open up. It's going to have a very special new toy in it as well. Now we're going to start the video off by opening up the first SpongeBob SquarePants Minifigure World Blind Box Series 1 pack. So it says that it's made right here by Play Imaginative, and it's got the Nickelodeon and SpongeBob SquarePants logos on them. Here's some of the different characters that you can collect, and they all have around about the same odds. They're all 2 and 25, except for these two at the bottom here. Those are 3 and 25, and that is the one that I'd really like to get. But let's go ahead and get this opened up. I just cannot wait to see what these look like. We've been doing a lot of the mystery figures on the channel, but these might be some of the best looking ones yet, hopefully. These are a lot bigger than the mystery minis. Let's see what comes sliding out of here. All right, so we got a Patrick. Oh, it's a Patrick and a SpongeBob. So here's our first one. They're giving each other kind of a half of a hug. It's, that's a really cute collectible. And it's going to be this one right here in the top. Two out of 25. That sleepy SpongeBob right next to it is also pretty cool. Now the coloring on these is actually, it's, the sand looks like it's got a little bit of a shine to it, but the characters are kind of flat. But they're very colorful and it's got some really nice fine detail. And if you look really closely at Patrick, he's got these little tiny holes in him for some reason. But outside of that, I mean, these are really cool. I'm actually very impressed with these. And if you're wondering where I got these, I picked these up off of eBay. So I didn't find these in a store. I've never seen these in a store. I'll go ahead and slide that back there. And let's go ahead and open up the pirate ship. Now I had been looking for this for a couple months and I saw one in Toys R Us but it was missing the Spongebob. Somebody stole it so I decided not to buy it and then I went in there a couple weeks ago I finally found this thing. So let's get it out of the box and we'll see what it looks like. Our mateys and welcome to my pirate ship. So here is the Spongebob Flying Dutchman pirate ship. It's got its own little plank that comes out. And if you look down here, you can see you can store your characters or your weapons or whatever else you want to put down in there. And on the front, it's got this dolphin with hair. It almost looks kind of like a mermaid dolphin. And if you look back here at the steering wheel, you can see the little skull right there that kind of spins around with the wheel. That's kind of neat. And these windows that you can pop them out if you really wanted to, but I'm not going to do that. But they will pop out if you really want them to come out. And right there you can see where you can place your character down in there. His feet fit nicely in there as you can see. <laughs> and there he goes. Alright, so once you place Spongebob in there, you can turn him. And he turns the sail, and when you turn the sail, out comes the missile guns. So you take these little anchors right here. I guess that's what it's supposed to be, is like a little anchor. You can place them inside of there. And I'm wondering if this will shut with those in there. Let's see if it'll shut. Yeah, it will. That's, that's really cool. A lot of toys, they don't make them that good. <laughs> so a lot of toys, you try to shut it like that, and it won't shut. And it's got the little buttons right there on the top. Let's go ahead and have a little target practice. We'll put our our bright, colorful Mr. Krabs up there. That's probably, that Mr. Krabs is my favorite character that's come out of those little sets. Wow, that was a direct hit on the first try. Look at that. I uh, hit him, but he didn't fall down. So there you go. There is our SpongeBob Pirate Ship. That is a very cool toy. I have a four-year-old that loves pirates, and he is going to go absolutely nuts when I give this to him, so I'm sure he's looking forward to me finishing this video. We'll go ahead and set that off to the side, and let's go ahead and open up the next 
SpongeBob SquarePants Minifigure World Blind Box Series 1. And if you look on the bottom, just to show you guys this, it's got a date for 2013. And I'm thinking these things are brand new because, again, I haven't seen these in a store. So, you know, I, again, I think the only place you're going to find them right now is on the internet. And that's going to be so disappointing if I get the same characters again. And it, it almost looks like the top of Patrick's head. Let's see what we got. Oh, okay, it was a Patrick, so I was half right. So we got one of the two blue characters, and it's a 3 and 25. So actually, I'm not sure what I said at the beginning of the video, but these are actually, I guess, a little bit easier to collect, easier to get than the other characters. And it's got a little date right there on the back of them that says 2013 Viacom. It's kind of hard to see it. It's just for looking at, not really to play with, but a very cool character. Man, he is very cool. He almost looks kind of like a Batman Patrick. We'll have to put him in the Batman videos <laughs> that I'll be doing soon. We'll go ahead and set him next to the other Patrick. And let's see, what should we do next? Should we do the egg? Should we do the other? Let's do the other box. That's the fun thing about doing these videos. Nobody tells me what to do. I can just pick and choose and do whatever I want. So let's see what we got in the final box that we'll be showing in this video. now. If you guys want to see more of these, and I'm assuming that you're going to want to see more of them, be sure to hit the like button and I will go pick up some more of these if you guys want to see more of them. And wow, we're on like a Patrick roll here. So here's a Patrick with a slobbering look on his face. He's actually drooling a little bit. That is a funny looking character. Now, if you notice, this one also has that same kind of sand. And what I was saying a moment ago was that the sand has like a little bit of a shine to it. Here's kind of a better look. I'm trying to get a little bit of light on it so you guys can kind of see. The sand actually is a little shiny, but the characters are not in any way. These are pretty flat paint characters. They don't have any gloss on them really. His arms look like they have a little bit of a shine. And if you look closely, I just now realized this. He's got kind of like a bikini line where he was wearing his shirt. So he's kind of like suntanned right here and not right there. So again, that's a very cool, funny looking Patrick. There's a side by side comparison. Now they kind of have like a group hug going on now. <laughs> so there they are. We'll go ahead and set those back there. Those are so cool. All right, so, and I just knocked off one of SpongeBob's eyebrows, but here's our Play-Doh SpongeBob egg. We'll go ahead and take the bottom off here. And let's go ahead and take his eyes off. And we'll take his little eyebrows off. And uh, he's got this big giant nose right there. Go ahead and pop it off. And this is actually from the Play-Doh Potato Head SpongeBob that we did. We'll go ahead and take off the Play-Doh and what do we have in there? That is going to be a new toy. Have not shown it on the channel yet. These just released. This is a Transformers 2014. You can see the date right there. Then it's a Thrilling 30 is what it says right there at the top. But it's a collectible figurine and 3D piece collector card. It's got Optimus Prime on the front. Let's go ahead and get this opened up. I haven't opened any of these, so I don't have any idea what these are going to look like. And I'm trying not to cut the card. You know, some of these packs, they don't give you like the little, sometimes they'll have a little thing at the top to where you can just rip the plastic off. This one didn't have that. And look at that, we got, I was getting ready to say Optimus Prime, but that's not Optimus Prime. Uh, who is that? I cannot tell who that is. Does it, have, does it say? Who do we got? Oh, we got Soundwave. That's, you know, I'm surprised I didn't recognize Soundwave because that's one of my favorite Transformers. It's been a little while since I actually played with Transformers or watched a lot of the cartoons, so I kind of forgot some of their names. The paint on this one's a little weird. Looks like it needs to be cleaned up a little bit. He's got a lot of nice little details on him. It's not the greatest detailed character or figure, but it's got enough to where it looks nice. So we'll go ahead and set that down. Let's see what else is in here. So this is going to be the card. It's got all of his stats on there. And it says right there, 5 of 30. So I guess there's 30 different ones to collect. 
and it looks like I guess this might make like a corner of a puzzle or something I can't really tell what that is we'll see what it says here so yeah right here it says collect the character cards to form a 3d puzzle and it looks like the one that we got was for Optimus Prime right there and again I'm, I'm guessing that's gonna be the corner of it and then right here this is gonna be some of the other characters that you can collect and if you guys want to see more of those Transformer toys, just be sure and comment and let us know. We do read all of the comments, so if there's something specific that you want to see more of, we'll be happy to do that for you. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I certainly enjoyed opening those SpongeBob characters. Cannot wait to do more of those if you want to see more of them. This is Disney Cars Toy Club, and as always, thanks for stopping by. That looks nothing like me. Duh. Well, I guess it does look a little like me. Duh. <laughs> That's for not paying me to work at the Krusty Krab. R, that's for not. <laughs> that's for not paying me to work at the Krusty Krab. <laughs> that's for not paying me to work at the Krusty Krab. And why do I sound like Mickey Mouse? <laughs> Duh.